Hey everybody, Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Mista Pandaria Remix and our Death Knights leveling campaign. Thank you guys very much for joining me today. I do appreciate you clicking on the video and choosing to spend some time here. Uh, I harfed back and I found a couple of side quests. So I'm going to check these out. Tell me of your troubles. Temple of the White Tiger, have you heard the news, Traveler? There's been an attack at one of our most sacred places, the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. Even now there's a human prince within the White Tiger Temple arguing that you and the other races from beyond the mist should be allowed within. The temple is in the northeast of Kunlai. Maybe you can convince the White Tiger to allow you inside. Next one is on so that's a breadcrumb. And then the road to Kunlai. Ah, greetings friend of Lorewalker Cho. I have a message for you. The Lorewalker waits for you at Kunlai. Very dangerous to travel there. Very dangerous. Alright, so a couple of breadcrumbs for later on. Let's head down and we'll continue with some main story stuff. We are blood spec again today. And today I'm going to try to tank a dungeon at some point. And we'll see how that goes. Greetings, Wanderer. Am I seeing this right? A whole shipment of pure, high-quality, uncut jade? Thank goodness. I knew Foreman Man would come through for us. Oh, and you too. Thanks for bringing it by. Jade serpent. Can I trouble you for another favor? We're way behind schedule and this jade shipment is the last we need to finish the great statue. I've got my hands full, so could you run this ore over to the other foreman? Okay. May the mists protect We can do that. Hello. There is no hurry. Welcome. Jade Serpent guide you. Patience, patience. You are most welcome. Hello. There is no hurry. You've done us a huge favor here, Traveler. Now that we have enough jade to complete the statue, we should send word of our progress to Yulan, the Jade Serpent. When you arrive, speak to Elder Sage outside the entrance to the Temple of the Jade Serpent. If you wish to speed your journey, speak to Kite Master Shoku. May the mists protect you. Uh, I think we're fine just to fly there. I get there faster on a dragon riding mount. Uh, well, this doesn't look great. Doesn't look great at all. What wisdom do you see? Uh, okay, I don't know if we, like, traveled through time or exactly what happened. 
You have the eyes of one who has traveled much. You bring news from the serpent's heart? Thank you for coming all this way, stranger. However, I cannot allow you to speak to the Jade Serpent right now. The Ancient One is very busy, and as you can see, is not here at the moment. Family, friends... The Scryer's Dilemma. These Since you were so helpful at the mines, would you be willing to help us with a small problem here at the temple? Wise Mari has been complaining recently of a disturbance in his temple. The water elementals have gotten quite playful recently and made off with his ceremonial staff. If you could help him, I would be most grateful. I may even put in a word with the Jade Serpent for you. May you find mastery in your passion. And the Librarian's Quandary. Lord Walker Stonestep is in charge of the entire temple library. Lately, something has been troubling him and his work. With thousands of ancient tomes to be transcribed, I can't afford to have him distracted. Follow the path south to the library and see what ails him. May the red crane live uh, and you have a quest as well. Where the Riders going? Bind. Have you seen the young serpents in the training yard? The little ones tend to be mischievous and some of them ran off to play before the training session. The mistress will get angry if she discovers they're missing. Would you go find them and bring them back to me? I don't want them to get into trouble. They like to play out in the open, so look for them in the courtyards and around the spires. Go smash some bad guys. And lighting up See the sky. Later. Do you like fireworks? I love them. In older times, we would set them off to frighten away demons, but I just like them because they're pretty. I think there are still some old launchers laying around the temple. Would you go set off some big fireworks for me? It would make me so happy. Have I'm sure all the adults will appreciate that. Uh, it's not gonna let us jump down. I guess we have to walk all the way to the staircase. How mundane. Yes, I can hear you. Moth ridden. Moths have infested the library. Moths. Any librarian worth his letters knows that moths are the most dangerous threat to paper, second only to bookworms. As it turns out, my assistants are a useless bunch of insect-fearing cowards. Please, you must help me get rid of the moss immediately. The work of a thousand Pandaren storytellers depends on you. White tiger guide your and pages of history. The worst possible thing has happened, Draenei. We have bookworms. This is a critical situation. All bookworms in the library must be eradicated at once to prevent their spread. We must squash this problem, literally. Please examine the infested books in the library and squash any bookworms that you find. Stay safe. I was hoping we would get to actually step on them, but no, it looks like we have to just slap them with our sword.
You have helped us more than you can ever imagine. I do not know what I would do if our precious scrolls were ever to be lost. Please return to Elder Saga Razu and tell him that the library is in order. Alright, well that was simple enough. Uh, yep, let's go ahead. I think we'll just go ahead and we'll try to finish everything and then we'll turn everything in all at once, preferably. Alright, for the talent point, Dancing Rune Weapon summons a rune weapon for 8 seconds that mirrors your melee attack and bolsters your defense. When active, you gain 40% parry. That seems like a really huge tanking cooldown. Hemostasis, each enemy hit by blood boil increases the damage and healing done by your next death strike by 8% stacking up to 5 times. That also seems amazing. When Crimson Scourge is consumed, you gain 4% versatility for 6 seconds. Uh, and Relish and Blood, while Crimson Scourge is active, your next Death and Decay heals you for 83 HP per Bone Shield charge, and you immediately gain 10 Runic Power. Uh, these are all good. Vampiric Blood's healing and Absorb amount is increased. Like, let's grab Runic Weapon for now. Like, we need everything. <laughs> we literally need everything. That's what makes it tough. Uh, and I have to start figuring out how to use these. Because, yeah, that's our taunt. Like, when are we going to have to taunt? I don't know. Uh, Chains of Ice, we're probably not going to need to use a lot. Dancing Rune Weapon is on a two-minute cooldown. That's kind of a longer cooldown. Anti-Magic Shell is on a, a one-minute cooldown. Vampiric Blood, that is on a 1.5-minute cooldown. So many freaking cooldowns. Okay, I think that's really... Oh, you know what we could do is, like, maybe we could use uh, rune carving. Just a little bit. I think this would be the one that we would use for tanking. Like, Razor Ice is just good for DPS. Let's do Razor Ice for now. Bye bye. See you later. Have fun. Bye bye.
I apologize for the deception, but it was necessary. In thousands of years, we have never seen one of your kind. It was imperative that I first measure the bearing of your heart. Come ride with me, little one. There is something I wish you to see. The temple priests are too frightened to face the truth. I grow old, little one. My time on this world is nearly done. Do you see the great statue in the distance? The builders have toiled for many years, and it is nearly complete. A little more jade, the jade you helped to acquire, and it will be finished. With my last breath, I will transfer my life essence into the statue, and a new guardian will be born. Do not be saddened. The cycle is clear. It neither begins nor ends with me. Someday, you may also be called upon to defend all that is dear to you. When that day comes, seek all the light and wonder of this world and fight. We live together or we die together. All of Pandaria is connected. I grow weary. I must rest now. Goodbye, little one. I will see you soon enough. You are most welcome. The world is your teacher. All right, it looks like we are done in this area. I am going to go ahead and queue us up for a dungeon. As a tank. Uh, and in the meantime, let's go check out uh, this little turn in over here before we get back to like main stuff. Defiance. The damn Mogu hit us out of nowhere. Anyone they don't kill on sight is being dragged away into the woods. That's bad. Rally the survivors. Seems self-explanatory. Welcome, Wanderer. Orchard supplied hardware. They may not be weapon masters, but many of these farmers can wield a simple hoe or rake as an extension of their own will. That mastery coupled with the right motivation could muster a force capable of standing against the Mogu. Your eyes and, heart and Spitfire, use the Nectar Breeze Cider to put out 12 fires. Okay, let's uh, jump into the dungeon. Alright, we'll take the quest. We meet again. Take this quest. Uh, these guys have clearly, uh, they've killed a couple things here, maybe. Together, 
We will destroy these intruders! Charge me with your power! The energy is strong! have allowed the Shah to reawaken after all these years. If you truly wish to undo what your kind have wrought upon our land, you must first prove yourself here in our school. First, you will face our initiates. Properly 
With a weapon is but a physical manifestation of one's martial strength. Let me show you what spiritual power is. Scarcely throw a punch, but after years of training, I can do so much more.
the Shadow Pan are mine. Come, hatred will consume and conquer all. Uh, is that it? That is it. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how I did. I feel like, you know, nobody in the group died. It's really easy content, so I feel like we did okay. Got a couple of quests done. I must thank you, strangers. The Shadow Pan are in your debt. Now, there is much... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it felt okay. Obviously, like, tanking at this level is nothing like tanking actual endgame stuff. So, you know, it's hard to gauge how you would really do. It's hard to, it, it feels like it's hard to grow in skill. When you're doing content that's like relatively super easy, where, you know, if you make a mistake, you can't really tell that you've made a mistake because there aren't any consequences for it. I find that it's, it's hard to skill up. It's hard to feel like you're getting better or that you're even doing the right thing to begin with. Alright, so we're doing a couple of things. You know, I, sh I know we got some gear. I know we got a ton of, a ton of chests to open. Uh, and we've got some gear. And I should probably start looking at some of this stuff. Let's finish up these side quests here in this area, and then we'll take some time to pop our chest and... Greetings. May check out the gear and all that good joy. stuff. Welcome. Next one is on me. Hello. We can go ahead and take a look at our talent points. Uh, successfully interrupting an enemy grants 10 runic power seems good. Your auto attack damage grants you an absorb shield equal to 40% of the damage. Dealt. Like for a tank, that just seems like you have to take that.
Uh, we're supposed to also be looking for orchard tools, I realize. I haven't been picking any of these up. I, I do see some of them now on the ground. Alright, so I think that when we're gonna do a dungeon, we'll pop into blood. I think when we're deep, when we're soloing, we'll do unholy. I think I'm like, kinda comfortable with the buttons on both specs now, so we should be able to swap back and forth. Depending on what we're doing. Uh, let's grab our interrupt here. And let's go into the second point uh, in improved festering strike here. There's so many ground details that the tools are uh, kind of hard for me to see. I, I've no doubt missed a bunch of them. Cause yeah, I'm just I'm just not seeing them. Tell me of your travels. Live for your dreams. Hello. The splintered path. First, before the war cries, we heard the trees groaning, creaking, and finally crashing down as the Mogu cut their way through the woods. They were making the return trip easier. They're dragging our friends back down the path to the ruins west of the village. Those ruins have been empty for years. Our, ch our children play there. Why would the Mogu come back to them now? 
May the mist protect you. That, I don't know. What I do know is that we have a, a ton of chests to open up. Uh, Festering Strikes has a 15% chance to generate one rune and grant runic corruption. Or, oh, oh, this makes it Feasting Strikes. Is it going to change the actual ability? Should I grab Epidemic first? I probably should. Not that I really have a spot for it on the bar. I'm going to have to replace my ground mount there. That'll be easy enough to hit. Can you see them? Farmers from the orchard, tied up under inspection, being hauled off in chains. The mogu value strength above all else. Anyone deemed fit for work will be sent to toil under their cruel whips. As for the others, well, let's not waste any more time. And Maul Gormal. Thanks to you, there's a small militia of farmers hiding nearby. And I said something about giving them liquid courage, which I'm pretty sure means they're sauced and angry. The Mogu think they can walk all over us, so we'll give them a fight that will open their eyes. Alright, so, we took care of everything at Nectar Breeze Orchard. I believe it's probably time to pop the millions and millions and millions of chests. And then we're going to have to go through our gear and trash anything we don't need. Whew, alright. So... Let's do this. And as we go through, we will just do a quick comparison to see if there is anything here that is going to be an upgrade for us.
Uh, this, like, it could be an upgrade. It's kind of like a side grade, actually. Uh, the greenstone polders. It's just like a different look for us. That's fine. It's good for transmog. We got a shoulder upgrade. Let's pop that in. Pluck Explosive Barrage out. The gloves are an upgrade. The helmet is an upgrade. We only need one of them though. Same thing with the gloves, we only need one. We'll keep the crit strike over the haste. The belt is an upgrade. Ooh, uh, that dude disappeared. Uh, okay. So these gloves have two tinker sockets now. We have opportunist. Uh, we could do hailstorm. We could do an Absorb Shield. Let's do that. Okay. Got our first epic gems here coming in. Armor and haste. And leech. Anything else? So many different gems. It's uh, it's kind of crazy. All right, I think that's basically it for the housekeeping. And yeah, this is probably a good place to take a little bit of a break for today. 
Uh, there's a lot to think about. There's so many gems. I'm sure there are like builds on Wowhead of like the best possible Tinker gems, Cogwheel gems, and Meta gems that you could use. Uh, I feel like we could be using our scrolls a lot more. We have a lot of them. We have a lot of them. So, yeah, I, I don't know how to, the best way to approach it. We could probably just try to keep them all going. Uh, if we kind of list out the ones that we could use. Increasing versatility. Increasing attack power. Uh, intellect, we could use in a group. Vitality for stamina. Damage weakens the target. Scroll of Cleansing, Summoning, Resurrection. We have Drums that we haven't really used. Lots of stuff to think about. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I would love any suggestions, tips, thoughts that you have on the playthrough. Leave them in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.